David here with Fig Mood on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review and a giveaway. Uh, what I have for you today is not one, not two, but three different versions of a brand new pen from Conklin called the Endura Deco Crest. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Endura Deco Crest, uh, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to Yaffa Brands, the owners and distributors of Conklin, as well as a number of other brands for providing these pens for review and to give away a couple of them to you. So stay tuned to the end of the review to learn what you need to do in order for a chance to make one of these pens your very own. Uh, the pen arrives in this standard Conklin box. Um, inside we have some information on the Dural Crest. There is a little uh, use and care guide as well as a warranty card. Uh, and then actually under the tray nestled in here are a couple of cartridges. And then we have the pen. This is the Conklin Endura Deco Crest. Uh, the Deco Crest model is one which Conklin originally produced back in 1905, and over the years, through the different iterations of the company, the model has been released a number of times, looking a little bit different each time. Uh, this is an acrylic resin fountain pen with a metal filigree overlay. Um, it comes in three different varieties. There is the black, which has an underlying black resin with a silver colored metal overlay. There is the blue, which has a blue resin and a rose gold colored overlay. Then finally, there is the orange, which has a gunmetal overlay and some orange resin. Uh, the orange resin has a bit of texture to it. The blue and orange are slightly more translucent and the black is a little bit more opaque. Uh, this is what all three look like. Um, I think they each look sharp in their own right. Uh, the blue offers a really nice contrast to the rose gold overlay, and the black with the silver overlay gives more of a classic look. Uh, and then there's this orange with the gunmetal. Uh, it's just a really cool combination. Um, I think of the three, my favorite is the orange. So just for the sake of the review, I think this is the one that we'll uh, look at for the parts and features of the pen. Uh, the distinguishing feature of the Deco Crest is the metal overlay. Uh, it's an interesting look. Um, I do think the contrast between this orange and gunmetal looks really sharp. The patterning on the cap and barrel is exactly the same, uh, but it's just elongated on the barrel. It's almost like when you resize a picture on your computer uh, where you just drag down the bottom of the picture and it elongates it and puts it out of proportion. Um, while that doesn't work well for a picture, I feel it actually works well for this overlay. It gives it kind of a uh, same but different kind of look that's interesting. Uh, I don't feel like the pattern is duplicating. Uh, so let's start with the top of the cap. It's flat with a slightly rounded edge. This transitions into the Conklin clip. Uh, a couple of things about this clip. For one, where it's attached to the cap is at the back of the clip. Uh, in other Conklin models, like this one here, which is a clear demonstrator All-American, the attachment is offset from the end so that if uh, you apply pressure to the back of the clip, it acts like a rocker and the clip angles up for ease of use. Uh, even though the clip connects differently here on the Endura. Uh, I don't find it to be too stiff uh, and it works in materials of varying thickness. I have said this many times but I'm just not the biggest fan overall of the uh, looks of the Conklin clips. There's just something about the combination of it being a bit chunky and the company name in cursive and then the overall design of the clip where it's thicker and then thinner. It just really never did that much for me. But I will say with this gunmetal version, the clip kind of blends in with the rest of the pen and I really don't notice those things that uh, bug me about the aesthetics of the clip. The cap is straight. Uh, at the end, it's engraved with the name of the pen, Endura on one side, and then on the other side, it says Deco Crest. On this orange model, the engraving on the gunmetal is filled with a silver or white, but on the blue and black models, the engraving is filled more with a dark gray or black to better match with the materials. At the end of the cap, there is a medium-sized step down to the barrel, which is straight until you reach the end, where there is a raised ring, some posting threads, and the end of the barrel is flat with a slightly rounded edge, just like the cap. The cap twists off with a single rotation, and underneath we have a stainless steel number six size Conklin branded nib. 
Um, I've always liked their crescent breather hole. I think that that looks just a little bit different. Um, you could see through that breather hole that the feed actually has two channels in it in order to help with the ink flow. This nib is black. Uh, the nib on the blue model is also black, but the one on the black model is silver, which I actually feel is a good choice. Uh, the silver is a better match for that particular version. Uh, you can see here, this is a 1.1 stub. Uh, the nib is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, as well as this 1.1 and the Conklin Omniflex, which is their flex nib. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section is slightly convex, and then transitions into the cap threads and a medium-sized step up to the remainder of the barrel. Um, this section isn't overly long, so for me personally, my grip really spills over to the threads uh, and the transition to the barrel, but I don't find those transitions to be sharp. They're fairly smooth, and they don't impede my grip at all. Uh, this section is metal. While I despise slick metal sections, I find that I can maintain a decent grip on this one, so I would categorize the slickness of it to be on the low end of the slippery scale. Um, this pen is long enough to use unposted. Uh, now, the cap does twist to post, which isn't my favorite feature. Um, for this Endura, there are three different entry points for the threads, so there are three different potential clip orientations. Um, it takes one full rotation to post, so in order to achieve the position where the clip aligns with the uh, nib, then you would need to remember to begin posting in the appropriate orientation. Um, I will say that posting does significantly backweight the pen, throwing off the balance, so I would prefer to use this pen unposted. Um, one of the main reasons that I don't particularly care for the twist to post pens is that it's cumbersome to twist off the cap, then twist it to post. But for the majority of them, um, I really don't utilize that feature. But then you're stuck looking at the posting threads that will never be used. Um, I feel with this gunmetal uh, trim, it does a really good job of visually hiding the threads, so I'm really not forced to look at a feature that I'm never going to use. This is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges, uh, as you saw previously, two of which were provided, as well as this converter. Uh, with the metal in both the cap and the barrel, eye dropping this pen would not be recommended. The Conklin Enduro Deco Crest can be found at a large number of retailers and sells for $100. I feel that that is a very reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. Um, it's one of those prices that when I saw it, I thought to myself, yeah, that's about right. Uh, the pen provides a bit of a different look. The underlying resin looks really nice, especially on this orange model. Um, I'm really liking the orange and gunmetal combination here. So, especially at this price point, I feel the Enduro Deco Crest is worth checking out. Thanks again. Go out to Yaffa Brands for providing these pens to give away to you and to review. Uh, in regard to the giveaway, I'm going to be offering up two of these pens, uh, the one in blue and the one in black. If you would care for a chance to win one of these pens, all you need to do is be a subscriber to this channel. Uh, you need to like this video and leave a comment below in YouTube. Uh, 72 hours after the posting of this video, I will randomly select two comments to win. Complete details can be found in the notes below uh, in regard to a comment topic. It's been a while since I've done a proper Q&A video. So how about some questions that I can provide some answers to at a later date? Q&A videos are always a lot of fun. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample with actually three different nib sizes. with some size comparisons for the Conklin Endura Deco Crest. I just thought I'd give you another closer look at that orange. Um, it's really nice in contrast with the gunmetal. Uh, and then here is the blue. Uh, the blue does have a little bit of texture to it. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And that looks nice with the rose gold. Uh, and then here is the black with the silver. And in regard to some size comparisons, let's see what we can squeeze in here. Uh, in regard to a couple of other pens that have overlays, here it is with one of my favorite, which is a Visconti Blue Ripple. Uh, and then here it is with a Le Bon Skeleton. Uh, and then here it is with a, another new pen from Conklin, which I'll be reviewing here in a little bit, which is the All-American. And this one is in translucent 
uh, orange. In regard to some other orange pens, uh, here it is with a Diplomat Elox, and then here it is with a Lamy All Star, and then finally here it is with a Delta Dolce Vita Oro. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, uh, this is what it looks like with the All Star and the Elox, which is essentially an aero model. And here it is with the Le Bon Skeleton. Here we go with the writing sample for the Conklin. Endura, Deco Crest, and in regard to an ink, we are using Private Reserve, Neon Orange. Oh, and I didn't mention that this is a 1.1 stub. Private Reserve has recently released a number of neon colors that are very interesting. Uh, this is the neon orange. Um, it is a little bit on the, I'll say on the milky side. I wish it was just slightly more vibrant. Uh, in regard to some of the other colors, this is the neon blue. And then this is the neon fuchsia. I really like that fuchsia. Uh, then we have a neon green and a neon pink. Uh, and then there's a neon yellow, which looks very much like a, a highlighter ink. This is what the bottle looks like. As you can see, it looks a little bit milky in here. Uh, it's interesting because some, for some of the neon inks, they have different looks to them. That is the orange, but then you see here, this one here is the fuchsia and uh, it's much more translucent there. Uh, and it just looks different once it hits the page. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Uh, this 1.1 nib is very nice. Can't get a little bit of line variation out of here. So it's going to have a very thick line going horizontal and then going uh, going vertical and then uh, horizontal is going to have a much thinner line. In regard to ink flow, I find that's decent. Uh, in regard to reverse writing, 1.1s typically aren't meant to be used reverse. There, you can see that it doesn't act very well in reverse. Uh, and then in regard to fast writing, the feed kept up just fine. Now in regard to a few other neon inks, uh, we have in this blue model, I have loaded up the neon blue. So this is, the private neon blue, and this is in a medium stainless steel nib. And then finally, in this black model, we have loaded up the This is the Neon Fuchsia, which I think is my favorite of the bunch. And this one is a fine nib. Um, of these three nibs, I think the fine has a little bit heavier feedback than I'd care for, but the medium is nice and the 1.1 is nice as well. So. There we have the Conklin Endura Deco Crest. Uh, I think for the price, it's something very interesting to take a look at. And of the three, I, uh, I know I mentioned it a couple of times, but I really care for this orange and gunmetal. I think that's the best out of the bunch, but there's tastes for everybody. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.